What's up everyone and welcome back to the comms channel. For today's video we're introducing another new product in the WizMesh line and this one is a breakout board for the power efficient Rack 4630. Now you may be wondering what's the difference from the current boards out there and is this one worth upgrading to from the Rack 19007 or 19003? That's what we'll be covering in today's video so join me as we dig into it. Before we get started, this board one was sent to me by Rocklin, and this is an early prototype, so there might be some slight differences compared to the production model, like the buttons aren't labeled on mine like they are in the production model, for example. There will be affiliate links to the website to take a better look at the production model, but the differences should be minor. Now the board one will have a number of variants. Some will be for the board itself with options and some with an enclosure with options as well. And here we can see we have some options for with and without a 3D printed enclosure and with and without the GNSS GPS. There's also OLED display options if you want one mounted or one that you solder yourself or just skip the display entirely. So what are the major differences between this new board one and other boards like the popular Rack 19007? Well, if we take a look at them side by side, the board one isn't as wide, so it takes up less space, allowing for use in smaller projects. Also in that regard, the battery and solar connectors connect from the side instead of from the top, eliminating the need for extra height and allowing for use in projects with slimmer profiles. The reset button is moved slightly and there's now an additional button for a user button and there's also a spot on the board itself now for mounting the OLED display. The Bluetooth antenna is now built into the board itself which I believe we have here on the top right and the LoRa antenna continues to be the usual IPEX connector we're used to seeing on the previous boards. Now let's go over what I feel are the major upgrades that you may want to consider upgrading to this new board for. First you may notice that this board has more pin header pads than the previous boards and that's because all of the GPIO pins are available on this new board. This means you can easily connect other electronic components like sensors, buttons, or LEDs to the WizMesh board one allowing you to expand and customize your projects to fit your needs. For those of you looking to add this to a waterproof enclosure, as seen on many of the projects here on the comms channel, we have a mounting kit ready to go for this and available in our shop, so be sure to check out the link in the video description for it. Speaking of using this outdoors, that brings us to the next major upgrade for this board. The WizMesh Board 1 uses the SGM4152 charge management chip that helps protect your batteries, stopping the charging process if the temperature exceeds 131 degrees Fahrenheit or drops below freezing at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. How this is done will depend on your region and which board is available to you. The version available in Europe, which will have a 3-pin battery connector like my prototype here, will need to use a battery with an integrated NTC thermistor in it. This feeds the info to the board via the extra battery wire. The version for the US will have a standard 2-pin battery connector, which means it won't be able to use batteries with an NTC thermistor in them. We can still take advantage of the temperature-related charge control from the SGM4152 by soldering an NTC thermistor to the board itself at R62, as we can see on the schematic here. That'll do it for this video on the new WizMesh Board 1, and I hope you found it useful. If you did and would like to pick one up, they just went live on Rockland, and we have an affiliate link to it in the video description below. Also, be sure to pick up one of our mounting kits made specifically for this board if you plan on using it in a project in one of these waterproof enclosures. If you did find this video helpful, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't so you won't miss out on any of our future content. Thank you all and have a good one.